I received some very old surf periodicals dated around the late 80s era. The friend I received them from wanted them digitally archived before there was nothing left to archive. Many of them had signs of age, which included pages that were discolored and frayed on the edges. See how I created digital archives of these aging records of history next. The app I'm using to digitize the periodical is Microsoft Lens. It comes in Android and iOS versions. This is a popular category of app and there are many to choose from, but I've been using Microsoft Lens for quite some time and it does what I need it to. One of my favorite features of these types of apps is their ability to deskew captured images that are taken at an angle. This can usually be the case if you're capturing a sign that's high up on a pole or a presentation from a seat off to the side of the room. In this example, I've taken a photo of the periodical's cover from off to the side and below. I can fine tune the capture by letting the app know where the edges are. Most times this is not necessary, but because there's a border within a border, the app defaults to the more obvious border. Confirm everything looks good, the image is de-skewed, and you can either save this as an image file or choose to add more captures, which can later be saved to a PDF document. The scanning process is pretty simple as you just saw. I'll show you the process of capturing the surf periodical using the Android version of Microsoft Lens. When capturing images, my only suggestion is to have the document fill as much of the viewfinder as possible. Doing so captures the document and text at the best possible resolution. After capturing the first page, select the Add option, which is the plus sign over the camera. This will continue adding images to your capture as a series of pages. These pages are what will be saved later to a PDF document. One of the only drawbacks of DIY archiving is the amount of time it takes. This surf periodical doesn't have many pages, so the time spent is bearable. But imagine having years and years of issues. Archiving that many documents can subtly make you think twice about doing so. For the friend I had done this for, I think he had maybe 7 issues of similar physical size and number of pages. It took some time to complete, but it wasn't that bad since it was a view of my past as well which at least made it interesting. This next step of cropping each page can be done during capture or afterwards. I'm doing mines afterwards just out of personal preference. I don't feel like there's much of a benefit doing it one way or the other. Usually, the captures are automatically cropped correctly. In the process of reviewing each page, if you find a page where the edge detection line is not lined up with the edge of the document page, slide the entire edge over and it should automatically snap to what it thinks is the next possible page edge. Select Confirm to accept all cropping changes. At the Options screen, select Done and you'll be presented with the Save options. Check only the box for PDF Provide a name if you want something other than the default name and select Save. Microsoft Lens files are saved to the Documents folder at the root of Android's user file system. This is the actual PDF file, which you can email to others or save it to an online storage site such as Google Drive. With some PDF viewers, they have the capability to view a document in 2-up format as shown here. In that format, the surf periodical looks really impressive, probably because it's the original hard copy format. One thing I'd like to mention, which I'm sure you might realize, is that the quality of the image captures depends a lot on the phone you're using with Microsoft Lens. For this video, I've been using a Pixel 7 Pro. Before this, I had a Pixel 6 Pro, and I have to say, the quality when using it with Microsoft Lens was not the greatest. The Pixel 7 Pro fixed a lot of the problems that the 6 Pro had. I hope this video can be of help to those who'd like to archive or digitize a collection of their favorite books or documents. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. That's all I have for now, and I'll catch you in the next video.